why do I have so many channels? This is a question that a lot of people ask themselves or they ask themselves, okay, do I make another channel for this or do I just keep everything on the same channel? And that's a question of personality. It's a question of what your channel is fundamentally. If all of my content was on the same channel, I just wouldn't be able to do it. I I would not I would just go OCD all over it because the personalities can't conflict. The personalities are so different on all of my channels. It's all me, yeah, but it's completely different kinds of content all around to where I just couldn't bring myself to put it all on the same channel. There are certain channels that do different kinds of content, but they all kind of bleed into each other. Uh, DZ Dog, for example, he does a podcast uh, with me and Dragon King Mark and Austin Trench, um, and it's called The D-Pad. That podcast fits in with his other series, Whatever Happened To, because both of those series have a very underground vibe. He also does like a Let's Play show on there. That show has a incredibly underground vibe to it. And so all of those bleed into each other. They're all the same personality. You go on my vlogging channel, the channel you're currently listening to. You'll find videos of just me walking around my room, me pointing camera a camera at random stuff and just talking into it. Me holding a mic up to my face and then putting gameplay footage over it or um, videos where I'm just like sitting at my chair and talking um, it's all over the place and none of it has very much effort put into it all of them are just random topics that fall into my head and so I talk about it that's the personality of this channel and if I was to put like just these random topics that fall into my head videos on the main channel people would get mad or if I was a subscriber to that channel I would get mad you know I just as a creative or as a subscriber I just wouldn't be able to handle it as someone who enjoys watching my own content back I couldn't handle it you know um, because I need it to be on a different channel for there to be different standards. The standards on my main channel are written, edited content. Uh, any content that is like done with a script or if it's unscripted has each um, unscripted audio like very very edited down to where um, the it's not rambly like these videos and has actual effort put into that. Um, and once I get the, you know, get the script done, uh, after I'm working on that, you know, I go and record the voiceover multiple times, then I take out all the little parts where I'm breathing, I take out all the mistakes and everything, then I, um, begin editing the video, you know, I put in little visual jokes, like you saw with the My Night and Me review, um, I put in you know references to stuff like if I make a reference to a certain thing I'll put footage of it on screen or a picture just so you get a better idea um, and like I'll, I'll give actual examples like I'm, if I'm saying oh uh, Kill La Kill has this great moment in this part um, and then I'll just show footage of that and it's edited you know it's actual good content not just me yelling into a camera um, so I, I put a feasible amount of effort into that channel. Um, not always like a back-breaking amount of effort, but a feasible amount. Um, like I said, on this channel, it's just random stuff. On my Let's Play channel, I put more effort into that than this channel. Like, not a whole ton, but I put more effort into it. Like, all the thumbnails, they look uniform. Um, they all you know, kind of flow into the same thing. They all have a number on them, and they're all on a white background. And, um, you know, they have a certain style to 
the images that are used like all all the images that are put onto that white background are transparent so I can easily edit edit it to look the way I want it to and all the thumbnails they all look uniform they all as soon as you see an outlaw plays games thumbnail you know it's it's outlaw plays games you know and uh, when you go to the video section on that channel all the videos look like they're supposed to be on that channel um, and they all have a certain kind of personality to the way I play the game they all have a certain kind of personality to the way I talk about the game um, and it just fits that channel it fits that personality um, and then I have production outlaw which is just absolutely random stuff like any short video like very very short that I have and that's just random I will put it on there like unused footage I was never going to release I'll just put it on there because there's no stakes there are zero stakes with that channel at least on graveyard shift I go in and say okay I'm going to be interesting in this video I'm going to give all my points in a semi coherent manner um, and I'm gonna talk about this thing on on production outlaw it's just anything goes like as long as it's no longer than four minutes anything goes you know any like oh I, I took a random pan shot of my room okay I'll put that on there I uh, had this deleted scene from a <laughs> from a short film that no one's going to get without context sure let's put that on there you know it's just the most random BS <laughs> um, and it's it's cool so um, or if I have like something that's not big enough for a blog post and also um, too big for a tweet but also not big enough for a graveyard shift vlog I'll just put it on there like I did this video today actually called two computers where I just uh, run over to this computer that I'm using right now to record this audio and go uh, where I had my uh, a let's play rendering on it then I run over into the living room to go to the laptop and and show um, <laughs> footage of that like just random stuff showing you my process saying like okay this is what I do for maximum productivity um, I have two videos rendering at the same time one on one computer and one on the other usually when I'm not doing that I'm like browsing the web or eating or uh, writing stuff down or like watching anime or playing video games just to get like notes and write stuff down to get practice in that because I can't edit at the time because both computers are rendering um, or I record a vlog like this um, and you know just save that and then wait to render it um, so yeah that's how I that's how I do that and all, all the channels they have they have a I don't know I went on to a tangent about how I make my videos um, but yeah all the channels they have a personality nothing that would go on outlaw plays games could go on on graveyard shift nothing that could go on graveyard shift could go on production outlaw and vice versa nothing that could go on outlaw harvest should go on any of these channels that should go on outlaw harvest so it's it's certain types of content with certain echelons and levels of quality that are just um they they have their places picked you know um so whatever personality whatever atmosphere whatever um standard of quality i'm going for it all has its own place and if it was all on the on us on the same channel like I upload every day almost sometimes when I'm not uploading a vlog I'm uploading a let's play sometimes when I'm not doing either of those I'm uploading on production outlaw or I'm uploading on outlaw harvest because I post there once a week or maybe I'm doing a blog post maybe there wasn't any videos that day because there was a blog post I don't know I have limited time so having it if I, I do upload every day or try to though 
So, you know, there are very few weeks when I just don't upload anything or have like a few days apart where I don't upload anything. I try to keep that from happening, but you know, life happens. So, um, if, if I was just posting a vlog every single day or, you know, a vlog one day and then a let's play another every, every single day on Outlaw Harvest, I would just go insane if I was the viewer because not all viewers care about that. My hardcore viewers care about that. The people who watch all my stuff are the hardcore people, most of them. Um, so, you know, of course they're subscribed to all those channels, but somebody who subscribed because they watched my Should You Watch My Night and Me video, which has like uh, 320 views now, which is insane, but, um, like, people who subscribe because of that video are not necessarily coming for my weird rambles into a camera, you know, that are just completely unhinged and unscripted. They came for edited, uh, semi-funny, interesting content. That's what they subscribed for. They didn't come for me to, like, yell about some political concept or about, <laughs> you know, my life for an hour. You know, so I think keeping them all on different channels is the best way to do it. It's the best way to um, ensure that everything is organized. I absolutely love organization. I go insane if things are not organized a certain way or if if like I think an atmosphere is colliding with another I just get completely angry and it makes me mad and I have to change everything so um, it's the best and most proficient way to keep everything um, in order and for those people who want to see all my content there's a solution there's a playlist on Outlaw Harvest which I consider Outlaw Harvest the main channel it has the most subscribers and it has the content that I am most proud of on it. Um, there is a playlist on that channel that just contains all my content. So I update that playlist, like like I said, almost every day. Um, and for those people who like want a main hub for all of it, but don't necessarily um, like the idea of just subscribing to all these channels or like the idea that they're on a bunch of channels, there you go. There's a big playlist that just compiles absolutely everything. That's good for collabs too because I occasionally collab with other people to like add a segment in a review or to go on someone else's podcast or to go on someone else's Let's Play show. Like I've been on the ST2K show a few times and stuff like that. So I just put it all there, you know, in addition to all my channels that get frequently updated. There's also all the other channels that I go on to and uh, leech off their subscriber base. So, um, yeah, it's the, it's the best. It's most proficient. There's a playlist. It's linked in the description. All my channels are linked, but... I hope that helps you understand why I have so many dang channels and probably will have more. Like I can, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I can easily see myself making two more, two more channels by the end of this year. Uh, maybe even three. So, you know, get ready. Get ready, folks. Um, actually, as I was about to export this file, I just remembered a point that I was going to make. Like, it may not be the smartest way to do it, uh, way to do YouTube economically, maybe. Because, let's say I post a few, like, main channel videos that are about trending topics. I talk about, like, uh, I don't know, Occult 9. Occult 9's a new anime series, I guess. And then I talk about, like, uh... I don't know what what else is new this season um, uh, that one show that has the Yuri scene in it you know the the 2017 show with the Yuri scene you know like I I do a video on both of those shows those those videos are 10 minutes long both of them because they're written 
and they have a lot of editing production value in them. But let's say every day I upload a 30 minute vlog and a 20 minute let's play. And let's say maybe half of the people who subscribe to the channel watch those. Uh, who subscribed for the, um, no, not even half, let's say 30% watched those, um, and, you know, enough of them watched it all the way through, uh, or at least 12 minutes through, whatever, um, those, those, uh, people would make my channel go higher in the results because I would have more watch minutes, that would be smart economically, but for me, as an artist, as a creative type, I just couldn't do that because I love this idea of having all my content organized. I love this idea of having all my content, uh, having different personalities on different channels. And it would be smart for me economically to just put it all on one channel, but... Um, for my integrity's sake, no, I wouldn't do that, and I probably never will do that. If I do do that someday, just, just kill me, just kill me, um, because that is against my OCD beliefs, it's against my, um, my, uh, in integrity, etc., etc. I used to actually do that with the, um, with, uh, back when... Outlaw Harvest was called this really cringy name for my new subscribers, uh, Ultra Game Room? That's what I used to call it. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. All these memories are just, are just flooding back to me like a PTSD attack. Um, uh, so I did this... I, I did lots, lots of videos. They were, they were cringeworthy on this... On the channel that is now Outlaw Harvest called Ultra Game Room. And I... Oh god, this is so hard for me to talk about. Because it's like I have it blocked away in my brain. To not think about this time in my life. Um, I, I did lots of... I did these dis discussion videos talking about topics in gaming that everyone's talked about before. And then, like, once every two months I do, like, these crappy reviews that were the same as everyone else's. Um, and they were basically the, not the same video every time, but they, you know, were really trashy every time, at least. They're some of, some of the worst, uh, if not, they're the worst things I've ever made, and I consider them some of the worst things on the site just for how, um, much hatred I have for them. I know, like, objectively they're not the worst things on the site if you look up, um, you know, I don't believe in objectivity anyway, not objectively, but like, you know, based on the consensus, they're not the most worst things on the site. But just because I have that personal hatred for them, um, they are some of the worst things on the site for me specifically. It doesn't have to be that way for you. Know somebody, I know some of you like those crappy old videos and I, I appreciate that, but um, for me, I think they're horrible, and I hate them, um, I don't regret doing them, because they were experience for me to get better, and I'm glad I have gotten better because of those videos, but, you know, as videos, I hate them, I would never watch them if somebody else put them out, if somebody else put them out, you know, I would never watch another video by them, because they're horrible, and I'm taking away the context that I made it when I say that, they're absolutely atrocious, but anyway, um, so I, I did these videos, and I did these discussion videos, and I did a few let's plays, it was just all over the place, all over the place, I didn't know what I was doing, and that's part of why I found my channel so unappealing at the time, was because there were all these contrasting personalities, all these different types of content going on, where I just had absolutely no idea what I was doing, and because of that, I think the channel suffered. You know, there were some people subscribing for one thing, there were some people subscribing for another. I had, I just, I didn't know. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't get it. I didn't get the tubing. Um, and, you know, I've talked about the old stuff I would do with my channel in other videos, 
and why I hated it so much. So I'm not going to say it here. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna sacrifice my beliefs just for monetary gain, essentially. That would make me a sellout. You know, I believe that it should all be on different channels. That is my belief. I could change that and possibly get more money, get more subscribers because of that, but that would mean I had to sacrifice my beliefs. That would mean I was a sellout. I'm perfectly fine with making money on YouTube in any way possible. I do believe in that, so that wouldn't make me a sellout, but, you know, if I have to sacrifice anything, I believe if I have to s sacrifice what my integrity is, no. I'm not going to do that, not for monetary gain. And that's also part of why I have them on different channels is just because, you know, I have that idea. You know, I like I like them on different channels. That's the end of that. This shouldn't have been 20 minutes. I thought it would have been 5, but I don't know. See you all later.